In this video series, we're going to look at importing a PDF file into Magnet Field or Field Layout and then extracting information from that imported file. So what we want to look at in this video is importing a PDF into Magnet Field or in this case, I'm showing this in Magnet Field Layout. So looking at the uh, plan or the equivalent map screen, we have a property boundary and we have the points associated with that as well as the uh, one of the easements located. But there's a lot more information that wasn't included and we want to see some of that because we know it's in the PDF for this job. So what we'll do is from the main menu, we're going to go to jobs and tell it to import. Of all the options that are here, I'm going to use multiple and use the PDF option for this. I'll select the PDF file and it tells me there are 6,738 lines. By default, it's going to use layer zero for this, and I'm going to tell it to merge all of this, or I could rename to drawing, for example. Five layers were imported, one background element. Now I want to transform this. I want to align it to the points that I have. Okay, Because I want to do a translation and rotation, Instead of doing a single point or uh, you know, hoping I get close with the plotting scale, I'm going to use the line that's here. We have the boundary line from the points, and we also have that from the drawing, so we're going to go with that. From the drawing or the PDF file, I'm going to select this particular boundary line here on the uh, west side of the site. And then if I know the point numbers, I can key them in, I can go to the point list, I can pick them from the screen, or I could even uh, take measurements for these. Okay, I'm going to go to the screen and tell it to use point 107, or in my case, 101. And the end point for this will be point 102. It says, OK, the origin point is 5,000, 5,000. So these are the assumed coordinates for the starting point. Here's the scale factor, and here's how this will have to be rotated. I can save that. And now when I go look at this, the drawing is here. Now I can snap to the lines and create line work, getting my endpoint snap here. So I could create the data, either the line work or if I wanted to do the individual points, uh, I could create points for these locations. I'm simply going to trace over the line work just to show that now that it's in here, we can actually take advantage of this data. We can utilize it uh, for additional staking. Now, bear in mind, it is coming from a PDF, so this is not the end-all, be-all. Uh, there's always some concerns when creating data for 3D models or for layout from a PDF file, but this at least gives an idea that we could create some information to use uh, based on the PDF file that we're given. So now the line is in. Again, we could have done points or we could have done other options. What I wanted to show is that we can incorporate one of these background images, such as a PDF, either for general reference purposes or to add additional information from that background image, from that PDF or other image format. Again, I put the clarification that PDFs are always my last resort, um, but that is an option if that's something I want to do. And this does apply both to magnet field as well as magnet field layout.
I hope you found this video useful and found some things that you may not have known or clarification on how to do this process. And this is something that you can utilize going forward.